YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video. Hopefully you guys are doing great. I feel excellent myself. So uh, previously on the channel, we talked about all the things I dislike about the Samsung S95C. That's what this TV is that's in front of us. Um, the prior upload, which was yesterday, we did an update on this TV. So now we have the latest firmware and uh, you know, it fixed one or two things and actually a little bit more. I just finished playing a session of Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, this arcade stick. I do feature some reviews and there'll be more to come, but I just finished a deep session with my son playing this game. Uh, score was 22 to 12, my 22 to his 12, because they released, a, ironically, a firmware update for this game also with some balance changes. Um, in any event, if you know about this game, playing 34 games takes a long time and i didn't have one drop not one hdmi blackout drop while we played this games where typically when we play this game we'd have several drops that occur during our session so some really good stuff the firmware update really really fixed that uh, but today's video is going to go in um, kind of a vlog style orientation where i'm going to talk to you guys about you know, if I really think this TV needs to be here. Now, if you've seen the community post, I put a poll up, take a look at that if you haven't seen it, but if you've seen that, then you know I'm playing around with the idea of taking this out of here and putting my C1 back in here. I don't know, guys, I mean, you know, I think that this TV is a remarkable gaming TV. I wanna discuss whether or not I feel like, you know, I'm really getting a big advantage of, of a, a big gain, not an advantage, but a gain from a movie perspective. So after I roll the intro, we're gonna get right into this. All right, so this content is being shot for a couple of different reasons. Um, you know, for one, it's gonna generate a question being answered for many of you guys. You know, it's nice to see comparison videos like the one that I've done with the C1 versus the S95C. But I think having the talking points is more important from a realistic perspective, not just what I can show you on YouTube because it's never gonna be a perfect representation. So I'm playing around with the idea, as I said in the opening sequence of putting the C1 back into the living room. I'm about 95% sure that I'm gonna do that, at least for a limited time. So what this is gonna do is, it'll put me in a position where, you know, if I'm playing some games, I can do that with the 3090 setup that I have in here. I can also, you know, use the Apple TV 4K 2022 model and I can watch my content in the way that I do. Um, I will have Dolby Vision back, but I'm going to lose a significant amount of peak brightness and color volume, you know, going away from the QD OLED. However, I'm also going to be able to put the QD OLED in the main stage on a 4090, which I've never done. You know, since I've got this TV, I literally built the computer that's in my living room for this TV. And so it's going to be nice for me to be able to really push HDR with gaming to another level with me having a stronger component. This video is also going to encompass me just kind of showcasing my game room. I think that, you know, when I did the community post, there might have been some context left and, you know, not understood more so. I'll say that in which I talked about Street Fighter 6 coming out in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be streaming that on my gaming channel. Link to that is going to be in the description if you want to support and uh, I'm not really planning on playing that game on TVs. However, let me show you what I'm gonna use to play it on. So let me tour you guys to my game room, okay? So what we're gonna do is essentially remove the double PC setups. So this is a nice setup. I really enjoyed shooting the A95K. That's gotta go back upstairs in the G3 and the likes thereof, great content. I know that I can always create that at a later time if I want to. So probably going to keep the mounts on the wall, but what I'm going to do is put a mount a little bit higher so I can get a 77 inch here. And I'm going to make this just a single PC setup. So we're going to go through this remodel. What I actually need to do also is I need to levitate my Street Fighter Super Turbo character select screen higher. So kind of like where I have Ryu under this uh, AC vent. I'm going to remove that light and take everything up higher because I'm going to put a cabinet right here. It's an extension cabinet where my Samsung Neo G8 uh, monitor is going to go. So when I'm playing Street Fighter 6, 
I'm going to actually be playing it on one of my two arcade cabinets, okay? So we've got the Chulix, which this content has been featured on the channel. We did this entire build. I've got about 5,000 invested into this cabinet all in. And I took you guys through an entire setup from me, you know, taking delivery of this thing to all the settings and everything that we have here. There's a PC in there, but it's going to be a PS5. I think the white and blue aesthetic is going to be nice for that. And so that's how I'm going to play Street Fighter 6 there. Even though this game is cross-platform, the likes there of that, Mortal Kombat 11, Tekken 8, etc. My fighting games are going to be played on that for PS5. This is a Vulix. So this is a Chulix, which is a clone of this. This is a Vulix. And I haven't technically made a video featuring this. We'll get around to it. Um... I just actually got a monitor in today for this and the monitor that's in there has been featured on the channel like i said go down that content if you want to see that we're going to be doing some slight modifications of this so what this is is this is called an orange diamond this is kind of like a holy grail what this is is an official setup for street fighter 5 arcade so even the artwork that's there it's going to be changed to street fighter 6 content um this is you know something that you don't cut on and you don't modify as much as you do with the chulix because obviously it's a knockoff this is kind of the real deal however i'm going to do an xbox series x inside of this with this phillips um momentum monitor so it's a 32 inch 4k 144 hertz with hdr 400 this is a benq mobius um hdri so high dynamic range intelligence which is HDR 600. So some different monitors there, but some great stuff nonetheless. So it's going to be Street Fighter 6 and all other fighting games on PS5, Xbox Series X. And then once I get this all set up, I'll get my extension cabinet out of the garage back in here and we'll have a PC, you know, for me to be able to play the fighting game. So it's going to be fighting games on the actual cabinets and I'll be able to play my single player titles and such on the S95C, which is what I'm going to put on the wall. It's just that when I get to the point of using it, I'll be able to assess if and make content going forward that will really speak to the truth on if it's really something that I've missed, right? So the plan here is to actually get my game room set up and that's what I'm gonna be doing within this video is getting it set up so that it's, it's all the stations and such are at least in place. I at least wanna get the TV going. like the 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 orange arcade cabinet i got some work that needs to be done on so there's going to be actual content shot for that but i need to get things placed so that you know we are in a comfortable space later i'll be able to speak about you know whether or not the c1 has been has been even steven for the most part with me watching tv because playing games not such a big deal out there in the living room it's just like i have a comfortable you know seat where i can sit down and i can enjoy myself but it's not like i have to have it i'll also be able to further test the 95c in here because as i said earlier you know we're going to have a really strong gpu um on this thing so i mean at this point let me know what you guys are thinking um some interesting questions might be well what's going to happen to the g3 because that's on the wall uh the g3 with the other 4090 setup is going to go into another space actually where the c1 is currently so you know, here begins the musical chairs. It's just that the C1 is 77 inch. It's only a two year old TV, but it's still such a darn good TV, man, that, you know, there's still potential there. Um, and also, you know, I have the opportunity to get this thing situated. Another thing I want to talk about, the C1 is the only TV that I own that is actually calibrated. Um, and so it's got a beautiful picture. You know, I don't think my camera does any justice really. And I'm, I'll look into upgrading the camera equipment in the future we're going to come with the memberships and the patreon for those that want to donate and help me you know to further grow this channel but right now what i've got is what i'm using i just still don't feel like my camera does a good enough job of really showing a perfect representation of how good my c1 looks so i'm kind of excited to get it and be able to watch more content i'm currently binge watching you but uh, that's another subject so i kind of explained to you guys what's going on now it's time to try to get to work all right, so this is the glorious C1. We were just in this room a couple of videos ago also where I recently gave away the C9, parted ways with that TV, um, and I'm definitely not ready to do that with the C1. I thought that I was gonna just kick it to the curve, but you know, it's a great TV, large size. So um, I'm thinking this, this setup is probably what I'm gonna end up snatching. 
Um, so I've got some measurements to do definitely in the other room where I think that I want to get the TV levitated high enough where I can have it on the wall, obviously, but I can actually use this piece of furniture. So I'm going to I'm going to plan to use my Sony surround sound. So I've got to get another receiver for that. And what it's going to do is it's going to put me in a position where I can have a five point, you know, two setup inside that room which is going to be absolutely crazy my game room having like a sweet spot tv not this one but the s95c and then my pc on top of it so where my record player is i kind of want to put my height 60 pc like i said it's a vlog so just kind of taking you guys through this um so that's the vision we're going to see if we can uh, bring it together and even if, i guess even if i didn't do like a receiver which would save me some money you know in some space with having to run wires and stuff I could use this this Logitech setup, which would pre be pretty dope. Um, so I don't know, man. We got some options. You know, what do you guys think? Um, not really sure, but yeah, it's kind of where we are. We've got a musical chair going on here. So I've got the two mounts off the wall, as I said, and we've got the center wall levitated. Now, I did some measurements to try to get this thing perfect. Um, so basically, we're going to have 77 inch here, and I guess I can raise or lower the TV um, under it TV stand because my gaming PC um, is going to be there. I don't know if you guys are familiar with seeing this. This is the height Y60 case. Great case. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is a RTX 4090 with a 13900K i9 processor. Yeah. So we've got this in white and got this in black. So the G3 is not going anywhere. It's, it, it's not going anywhere like leaving the house. Uh, just going to kind of mix things up. So much more open space here, as I said earlier transition. I'm going to get that lifted. Probably going to do that tomorrow because um, my DJ is slipping. So I need to kind of retape this with something I just kind of put together. But this is so freaking awesome. It's just the room is so Street Fighter centric you know so fighting game centric you know we got arcade sticks around i gotta get around to reviewing this thing um guy sent me this and man i was supposed to have did a review on that a long time ago but is what it is i got another variation of that and then um we've got the adidas street fighter collection that's been featured on the channel we got the chess set we've got these custom um wall frames you know, just a lot of stuff that puts me in the mood, um, you know, of this, a couple of portion of my stick collection. Many of these have been featured on this channel. So, but yeah, we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and get, I patched these holes up. So I'm going to go ahead and get these painted so I can have that consistency there. The TV's not going to cover all of that. So, but yeah, that's what we're looking at so far. We're going to remanage everything. I'm going to have it clean. And then I'm going to just have like one central setup here, which will leave this space open for me to be able to get my cabinet. It's going to be so dope. It's the vision of TKK. So G3 is just kind of chilling right there. Snatch that off the wall. Look at that beautiful thing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that's going to go into this wall where the uh, C1 was at. Got the C1 chilling here. So these are all Santa's mounts. Yeah, these mounts, the cool thing about these mounts is that they have the ability to slide over. So you can slide it left or right. So you pretty much just need to get this thing even Steven kind of on the wall the way you want it to be. And then you have the ability to kind of scooch it left or right. That was really, really iconic with the setup that I had. I, I really think it's like one of the best setups that um, that's out there, especially if you're doing like the, the content that I do, but I've got to, like things are about to transition for me in a serious way with this gaming channel where I'm going to be I'm going to be playing Street Fighter a lot. Not that I'm not going to be doing the TV stuff, but that channel is going to be going too. So, again, we're going to move this um, furniture piece entirely into that room. So where the vinyl is is where my PC that I just showed you is going to be. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these speakers or if I'm just going to invest in doing a receiver and just going crazy, you know, getting myself a full setup. Now, I'm not going to be doing consoles and stuff because, as I said, you know, consoles are going to be pretty much going into the cabinet. So PS5 in the white and blue cabinet and then uh, the Xbox Series X in the black and orange cabinet. 
So just kind of giving you guys, this is really like a behind the scenes type situation for you guys to, you know, just be able to see this. I don't, I mean, there's not a lot of TV people that do this kind of stuff, take you through the back end of what the setups and such are looking like. You know, uh, most videos are gonna be just, hey, here's the TV, here's a review, let me talk about it. But this is just like, this is the, this is the real stuff, you know what I'm saying, of the real owner, you know? And real quick, hit you guys with that black height case. This is that other 4090 for that G3. So, yeah, this one's got some DDR5 RAM in it. They both have the same cooler. Um, this is a Founders Edition 4090. And uh, the other one's obviously the MSI Gaming Trio. But, uh, yeah. All right, so decided not to touch the S95C. I've got it here, and it's on a nice, um, stable tabletop mount. We're going to leave this here. Um, so there's a couple of reasons why. Number one, I need to elevate the mount that's in the other room in order for me to get this TV here. I did not factor in the VESA pattern being a little bit different uh, with these two TVs. Um, but, you know, the reality is... I talked about me making the C1 content. The S95C looks so much closer to the A95K. I noticed for a fact, 100%, that the C1 is not going to give me a better TV experience. So, um, might be a little bit of redundant content, but we can revisit that. Uh, let's take a quick look at the C1. We've got it on the wall. So, yeah, it's up there. It's elevated. And we're going to start managing cables. Um, so what I did was just a, a pretty basic generic sleeve going straight down. We've got power for the TV. And then we've got HDMI, which we're only going to plug up this uh, RTX uh, graphics card uh, PC here. So going to get the uh, furniture piece all the way uh, mounted off. And uh, just kind of a, a preview of what things are going to look like. So... TV's definitely up there nice um, with my seat. I can elevate that, so it'll be pretty sweet. And then that desk right there is what I'm going to use. So this is going to be kind of a nice nice layout. I think this is going to work really well. Now, the TV is as high as it is because of its size. Plus, um, I told you I wanted to get the furniture with the PC to be right under it. I think one of the coolest things about gaming on a desktop is you being able to see your PC. Now, I had the PC on the floor. Um, it was not actually on the floor. It was on a piece. This is what the PC was setting on for anybody that was ever wondering, like, why does he have it on the floor? I don't. Um, another, another saving grace to this case is that your power supply is not on the bottom. So it intakes air in, uh, but your PSU is right here. So it's breathing on the right side. Um, this case is really nice. Definitely uh, check out my video on it. I carded that in earlier. So... Let's go ahead and try to bring some conclusion to getting this setup all managed. All right, so we're done with everything. I don't know that I really would have changed anything. Um, the intentions were for me to get the S95C in there. Honestly, I think it would have been very enjoyable for me to have that TV um, in the space, but you know, the C1 being in this area looks really good. I want to know you guys' opinions, so make sure we are having some engagement and uh, you leave me some comments, your opinions, what you might have done differently. But let me take you on this tour of my new game room. Here we go. Starting off, nothing's changed here. We've got the posters. We're going to have some artwork for this thing as well as some content coming on the channel. We've got the laptop there because when it's all said and done, I'll be able to use this to stream my content. We've got the Chulix there. That there. Oh, boom. We got that 77 inch C1. And the draw distance, guys. This is phenomenal. Just phenomenal. It's about a good seven and a half feet, eight feet really good man i love it so yeah we've got the c1 there we've got the logitech gaming speakers there gaming pc street fighter chess set 
because we know I am got the collapsible green screen so cool thing about that is I can I can kind of set up shop on any of these setups and I've determined that I am actually going to utilize PC here so some changes made it I've made some changes you know into the end game in the midst of this video I don't need to move this up I do need to repost um, the um, the DJ and such need to fix that but I'm not going to raise those up because I'm not going to bring the other cabinet in I did the measurements and you know it just is what it is so again this file Phillips um, momentum monitor it's going to be going into the uh, orange diamond I'm not sure what content I'm going to keep but I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, that information is regurgitated because I've already told you guys that and then we've got the bin Q in there so I've time stamped some videos in you can feel free to kind of swim through the content if you're interested in any of this stuff some of the arcade sticks you know it's a piece of the collection done some reviews and yeah but ultimately um i'm happy to have the c1 here and uh it's gonna be a great great talking point to come to the channel because what this is going to do is going to give me more utilization i do still have three years of warranty with this tv so let me know what you guys think I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace, God bless, and as always, say, max love.